Well, I think uh, we've seen a lot of uh, action recently with respect to the company. I can tell you they have been responsive to the bipartisan attorney general letter that went out. And indeed, later this afternoon, uh, we'll be meeting with uh, counsel for Equifax in the District of Columbia. What specifically do you want to know beyond what's been reported already? Well, I think what's important is that notwithstanding the excellent reporting, we all don't really have a handle of all that happened. What appears to have happened is that uh, Equifax appears to have received a software of uh, security patch notice that essentially told it that it was very important for it to update its software. That appears to have occurred in March, and it does not, um, it's not at all clear whether Equifax took action. It's important in these data breach cases that when companies are alerted to the need for additional security, that they have a process and protocol in play to do just that. I assume you're going to pursue, quote, remedies. What would that look like? How would that work? Sure, Michelle. I think importantly, the first thing we've got to do is understand facts. And we certainly hope that Equifax is going to be you know, completely transparent in that regard. With respect to remedies, sadly, uh, the incidence of companies not pay, being alert to the necessity to update patches is not new. What is new is the sheer size of this breach. Where we have other instances where companies have not been attentive to software patches, we've essentially required them to put in protocol, people in place, uh, to make sure that they're paying attention to patches in the future. If the patch is the issue here, something like that in the future will be required. Uh, sir, are you having uh, conversations with other attorneys general uh, around the country? And if so, is there going to be a coordinated effort of any kind? I think what you're looking at right now is really an unprecedented, uh, unprecedented immediate uh, bipartisan effort to try to understand the facts. And so, yes, David, I do expect that the attorney generals will continue to work together and really focus in on this important area where half of the country's a core, secure, private information was revealed. In the District of Columbia, over half of the residents of the District of Columbia, including the Attorney General himself, uh, had their security breached. One of the struggles, I guess, is how does a consumer get anything fixed? Like, let's say you had your information hacked. Eight months from now, somehow, money disappears from your account. Nobody can be certain, right, that that's where they got, those hackers got the information. I mean. How far is Equifax beholden, or do they have to cover what could be potential costs? Have you tried to think about that and, and how you remedy the situation for consumers? Yeah, those are excellent questions. And of course, we've given that some thought. Um, and of course, that's what we'll be focused with with the company. I mean, it would seem as though we'd be looking at a period beyond a year, of course, uh, for there to be some guarantees around making sure that consumers are not hurt. I would note that it's incredibly important for consumers now to do that which I did this weekend, which is check all of your accounts. Now you got to do it on a regular basis and make sure that to the extent that you see an anomaly, something that doesn't feel right, alert your credit card company or your bank. Now would be the time as well, if you're a credit card holder, to use that credit card because the credit card gives you built-in protection against unauthorized use. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.